Hey, Math 20-2. Today we're going to look at some scale diagrams. So great white sharks can grow to a length of approximately 6.5 meters. The diagram to the right is a scale drawing of a great white shark. To determine the actual length of the shark, we need to know the scale used in the diagram. So scale can be given the following ways. As a statement, one centimeter represents half a meter. This statement tells us that one centimeter in the diagram represents a half a meter of the actual length of the shark. Two, you could give it as a rate, one centimeter to 0.5 meters, or one centimeter over 0.5 meters. This also, this rate also tells us that one centimeter in the diagram is half a meter of the length of the shark's actual length. You can give it as a ratio. Remember, ratio must have the same units, so a ratio of one to 50. This ratio indicates that one unit on the diagram represents 50 units of actual length in real life. So one centimeter on the diagram represents 50 centimeters of the shark's actual length. Or you could have it as a line graph scale. This scale indicates a measure of one centimeter on the scale diagram is half a meter of actual length. So if we were to measure from zero to a half on this line scale graph, this would be a half, one centimeter. So one centimeter on the paper is the same as half a meter in real life. So that's how we read that. Great. So let's do example one. The lengths of sharks are generally measured from the tip of the nose to the middle of the tail. The length of the shark in the scale diagram, I want you to measure that and use proportional reasoning to determine the actual length of the shark represented in that scale diagram. So go ahead and measure the shark and then see if you can do proportional reasoning and you come back and look after you restart the video and see if you get the same thing. Great, so if you measure the shark from tip of the nose to the middle of the tail, we should get about 9.6 centimeters in length. So we use our proportional reasoning, one centimeter over half a meter equals the diagram length of the shark, 9.6 centimeters over x. We cross multiply, one times x will equal 9.6 times a half. So we get x is 4.8, so the shark is actually 4.8 meters long. All right. Here we've got a map of Alberta. Okay, got a legend on the side. We've got a line scale factor. So this line scale factor tells us that if I were to measure from here to here, that is one centimeter in length, and that represents 75 kilometers. All right. So use the line graph scale to determine the approximate straight line distance between Calgary and Edmonton. So let's write that line graph scale one centimeter is the same as 75 kilometers in real life. All right. So we want to go from Calgary to Edmonton. So of course we want to find these two places. Um, here's Edmonton. Here is Calgary. Hmm. Straight line distance. So use your rulers. Measure that. See if you get the same thing I do. So the map distance as a straight line looks to be about 3.6 centimeters when I measure it. So we've got our lines graph scale of one centimeter over 75 kilometers. We just measured our map distance to be 3.6 centimeters. So we can figure out the actual distance using proportional reasoning. So again, I cross multiply. One times X should equal 3.6 times 75. So X should be about 270 kilometers. So the straight line distance from Edmonton to Calgary is about 270 kilometers. All right. So that's how we can use the line graph scale to determine distance on a map. Example three. Now we've got a map of British Columbia. We've also got a line graph scale. This scale, if I measure from 1 to 100, 
looks like that measurement's about one centimeter. You go ahead and measure that. That means one centimeter is the same as 100 kilometers. All right, so that is our line graph scale. So let's write that somewhere. One centimeter represents 100 kilometers. So A, calculate the approximate straight line distance between New Hazleton and Prince George. And then B, is the answer in A a realistic estimate of the actual driving distance between New Hazleton and Prince George? Okay, so you guys go ahead and try and complete A, and then we'll look at B together. So pause it, and then uh, answer A, then restart it. All right, so there's our map. You want to go from New Hazleton to Prince George. So there are the two places on the map. You want to measure that? I got about 3.4 centimeters when I measure that. So let's answer part A. Our line graph scale is 1 centimeter represents 100 kilometers. So in proportion, 1 centimeter of 100 kilometers is 3.4 centimeters over x. I cross multiply 1 times x equals 3.4 times 100. I get 340. So the straight line distance between New Hazleton and Prince George is 340 kilometers. Is this answer a realistic estimate? Well, if I look at the map, all right, to me it looks like from New Hazleton to Prince George, we actually have to go down here, then back up a bit, and follow this road along there. So that's definitely not a straight line distance. That's not real accurate. Okay, we might be better off if we measure from New Hazleton to Houston and then go Houston to Prince George, that might be a more accurate way to measure it. So you could write that out, right? Not a straight line. From New Hazleton to Prince George, so not accurate. Part B said describe a method for determining a more accurate estimate. Well, maybe you could measure from New Hazleton to Houston. Uh, that's what we said, right? Houston? Yeah. And then Houston. Prince George. That might give you a more accurate uh, approximation. All right, let's look at example four. Tyler's scale diagram of a tower is shown. The actual tower is 240 meters tall. Write the scale Tyler used in statement form as a rate and as a ratio. So step one, I want you to measure this uh, diagram with your rulers, and then answer this question. So the scale Tyler used, we measured this thing to be 8 centimeters high, and in real life it's 240 meters. So this would be 1 centimeter, if I divide both by 8, one centimeter over 30 meters. So in statement form, I would say that one centimeter represents 30 meters as a rate, one centimeter to 30 meters. And as a ratio, well, now I have to change 30 meters, same as how many centimeters. So we should know that. So that would be 30 times a meter to a centimeter is 10 squared, or 100. So 30 meters is the same as 3,000 centimeters. So as a ratio, then, we should say um, 30, sorry, 1 centimeter, the same as 3,000 centimeters in ratio form. Excellent. Let's look at example 5. Kylie from Abstract Renovations designs a plan for a candy store to be renovated. The scale drawing on the plan of the candy store is 1 centimeter to 50 centimeters. 
what are the actual dimensions of the storage room if the scale di diagram dimensions are 8 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So we got the scale of 1 to 50. So let's write that down. 1 centimeter to 50 centimeters. And we want to figure out each dimension. So let's do the 8 centimeter dimension. 8 is the scale diagram. What's the actual dimension? X. Okay. So we cross multiply. 1 times X equals 8 times 50. So X is 400 centimeters. And let's do the same thing for the actual dimensions for the length. Same scale factor, 1 to 50. That should equal 12 over, maybe we'll call that Y. Let's cross multiply. 1 to Y is going to equal 12 times 50. So that length is going to be 12 times 50 is 600 centimeters. So the actual dimensions would be 400 centimeters by 600 centimeters. Or you could change those to meters. 4 meters by 6 meters would be the actual dimensions of the storage room. Part B. What are the dimensions on the plan if the dimensions of the chocolate section of the store are to be expanded to be 3.5 by 4.75? So we know the um, we know our scale is 1 to 50, but we have to get like units, so we haven't got a scale in meters. So we're going to change 3.5 meters. How many centimeters is that? So we simply multiply that by 100, All right? So that's 350 centimeters, and 4.75 meters is how many centimeters? You can multiply that by 100. That's 475 centimeters. All right. So now I can use my scale, and the actual measure is 350 centimeters. What is our um, plan measurements, right? Well, the dimensions on the plan. All right, so we have the actual measurements. So now I do the same thing, cross multiply. 50 times x equals 1 times 350. Divide both sides by 50. So 350 divided by 50 will equal x. So that gives us 7. And this was all in centimeters. Do the same thing for the other dimension. Our scale is 1 to 50. We don't know the plan length, but we do know the real length is 475 centimeters. So again, I can go 50 times y equals 1 times 475. Divide both sides by 50. So 1 times 475 divided by 50. And we get the length on the plan as 9.5 centimeters. All right. So the question asked, what are the dimensions on the plan? The plan dimensions are... seven centimeters by 9.5 centimeters. Excellent. So you guys have your assignment. Do the ones that you've got assigned to you. Where you go.